We don't need to live in the past, nor can we live in the future, but we can live in the now. So let's capture the moment to enjoy the day, for this is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's Bill and Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, it's going to be another great day. Thank you for joining us. Yes, the Creator of heaven and earth, He is everywhere at the same time. He is the eternal, always present God, upholding His creation by the word of His power. And He is now, always was, and always will be. I'm sure you will enjoy this series, Living in the Now. Let's talk a little while about God's wonderful salvation. Yes, salvation includes forgiveness and deliverance from sin. Through faith in the blood and all that Jesus has done for us on the cross. It includes health for our body and preservation of the soul. This is a day of great news. It's a great salvation and not to be neglected. Yes, we who believe have a future, a hope, eternal life. It's all good news. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. It says, Behold, take a look. Now is the accepted time. Behold, now is a day of salvation. It's good news that we don't have to try and clean our messy lives up, but just believe the gospel now. And when you do, see what happens. Wow! Behold, all things become new, and you'll become as fresh as the morning dew. Yes, and live a brand new person in Christ. Yes, it's Jesus that makes a difference and puts a spring in our step. He opens our eyes to the Word of God and the creation around about us. Hey, hope you're enjoying this scenery today. In 1 Peter chapter 1 from verse 10. Wow, a full moon before dawn. Now this salvation was something even the prophets wanted to know more about when they prophesied about this. Yes, this gracious salvation prepared just for you. They searched intently and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing. Yes, the Spirit of God was predicting to them the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves, but you. And now this good news has been announced to you by those who preach in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God, that is, that came from heaven. It is all so wonderful that even the angels are eagerly watching these things happen. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says in Colossians chapter 1 from verse 26. The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations but now has been revealed to his saints. Yes, this mystery has been kept secret from the prophets of old and from the angels from heaven from ages past and generations of people, but now God has revealed it to us. Yes, God wants us to know the riches and glory that is found in Christ. I'm excited because when we receive Him as Lord and Saviour, it is Christ in us, the hope and assurance of glory. Again, the Apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 and 10, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, that is made righteous with God. And when you confess this with your mouth, behold, salvation comes to your house. As the scripture says, how beautiful are the feet of the messengers who bring 
good news.